Hello, I am Mrs. Watkins. I am your child's second grade teacher. There are a few things I want to go over with you for the school year. Um, the first things I want to go over with you is pretty much every day there is going to be math homework. Okay? Um, not every day, but mostly every day. The other thing I want to talk to you about is you will sign the agenda every day. Okay? It has room for um, a signature. And then you might be able to see there's a little spot with a book right there and you can write how many minutes your child reads every night. We are hoping for 20 minutes every night, and um, if you read more, great, but that's what we're going for. That's our hope, okay? So sign the agenda every night, and keep track of how much your child reads every night, hoping for 20 minutes. All right, something that I've done for years um, in my classroom is um, snacks. What I like is when a parent will just send a bag of um, like a box of cereal. I promise I will wash my hands a minute and then I can pass it out or it can be individually wrapped snacks. I do all, I will do all the passing out and I will make sure I'm very sanitized before I pass it out. And then so you bring it, we share it with everyone. That way there isn't anybody who doesn't have a snack. Um, usually if a parent brings, sends a snack once or twice a month, it usually, um, usually takes care of itself. I really have never had to ask, oh, please send snacks, because if people send it once or twice a month, I always manage to have enough. What I will do sometimes is say, hey, you know what, kiddos, we're running low on snacks. And sure enough, someone will bring something in and it always works out. Wonderful parents here at Southgate, so I've always been very lucky. Um, birthday treats, um, we're gonna continue. You guys can do birthday treats if you'd like. Again, just keeping with the individually wrapped thing for birthday treats. Um, water bottles are going to be provided this year. Here's the thing about water. The fountains are not going to be on. So you can't go get a drink, but we have, but where you take your water bottle and fill it, that is going to be on. So um, Mrs. Baskin has gotten water bottles for everybody. We'll send them home at the end of the week to get washed. But yeah, so no getting drinks, but you can fill up your water bottle, okay? The next thing is masks are mandatory. Okay, we do have um, shields. But yeah, masks, mandatory. So this is what I look like without my mask. Um, we do have some shields here at school too, so if your child prefers a shield, they can do that. But yeah, masks or shield, either way, mandatory. Um, now, no, we're not gonna be having kids keeping their lock, stuff in their lockers every night. So they're sanitizing those every night. So we're gonna have you take your stuff home each and every night. So no longer the days of, uh, the locker is filled up to the brim full of stuff. So, because they're being sanitized. So every night your kids' stuff should come home. All right, um, as for now, what we're doing is called a cohort model, which means art and music is going to come into my classroom and teach from here. That way they're not traveling all over the building. Uh, and I, and uh, lunch will also be done in the classroom as will breakfast. So. They're not going to be doing a whole lot of leaving the class, and I'll try to get them outside and do some learning and stories out there so they're not just stuck in here. But for the most part, they're going to be in here so they're not um, kind of spreading germs all over the place or being around a lot of different kids. So it'll be kind of just us. Um, but Jim will be outside until it gets cold. So, all right. We're not having any visitors in the building. We're trying to keep that really down with the visitors. Our doors, there's assigned special doors this year, okay? So, um, second grade, you're lucky because your assigned door is door one, the door you're all used to. So the door by Mrs. Howard's office and Mrs. Baskin's office is where if you are a person who drops your child off in the morning, um, same, nothing changes for you. So that's easy. The bus door, same door. You know, the kids who get off the bus will go in the same door. When I drop you off at the end of the day, um, when I leave you, that's the door I will take you out is the, that door. So we're pretty lucky. Um, as if you are a kid who gets picked up at the end of the day from second grade, you will go out door one. So uh, the only doors my class will use are door one for getting dropped off by their parents or picked up by their parents, they'll use door one. And if they're bus kids, they'll use door two. So my life hasn't changed. Other grade levels will have it a little different, but we kind of we kind of stay the same here in second grade so we got kind of lucky that way um so 
I think that kind of takes care of everything. So please bring your school supplies with you when I meet you and your fees, so you can pay your fees. And I'm looking so forward to being with you. It's been a long haul to be away from kids. So um, can't wait, can't wait to be with you. Mask or no mask. So anyway, all right, we'll see you soon. I can't wait. Bye-bye.